So YouTube released an update in April of 2020 called the YouTube Self-Certification Program and basically monetized creators would have an option to go and monetize their content. So when they switch their monetization from off to on, you see a tab right here that says add suitability. If you click on that, there's like a bunch of questions that they ask you for your content to determine whether or not it can get monetized or not. And so the one that I want to talk about right here is in the inappropriate language tab. As you can see, there's three options. You can either put that your video has light profanity like hell or damn and a bunch of other stuff, strong profanity in the title, or extreme profanity using the title thumbnail or at any point throughout the video. So if you see the three examples, you have punt right here, except you replace the P with a C. You have the N word and then you have the F word. These two make complete sense to me. I can see why no one would want to advertise on your video if you have these two words. But am I the only one who thinks that having the word punt with a C grouped with these two words as hateful slurs is a bit much? If you don't know what this word means, it literally just means vagina. And I guess it's been used derogatorily against women in the past, but nobody I know uses it in that way now. I think it's a funny word and whenever my friends and I say it to each other, it's just a joke and we don't use it in a derogatory way. In fact, I usually just call my guy friends that word. So yeah, I just think it seems a little bit weird to group it with the N word and the F word, because these two words are obviously really bad. For example, if you put light profanity instead of these two options, it says that it's safe for ads. If you go to strong profanity, limited ads. And if you go to extreme profanity, also limited ads. And you have other options here like adult content, violence, all that type of stuff. But yeah, this is just the main one that I wanted to focus on in this video. If you ask me, I think having this word grouped with these two, it just seems a bit ridiculous. Yes, I guess this word has been used derogatorily in the past, but to class it with these two as hateful slurs just seems like a bit of an overreaction, especially because, like I said, I'm pretty sure most people use this word in a joking manner anyways. And by the way, the point of this video isn't to like advocate that, oh, I want to say the C word, and this is why I think the C word should be in the light profanity section instead. No, I don't care. I can go without saying that word on YouTube. I just think it's a little bit weird and ridiculous to see this word classified as extreme profanity, especially not on the level of these two other words. Like, goddamn, man. But with the silver lining in all of this, I do believe that this whole questionnaire thing is the best update from 2020. Because if you be honest and you tell the truth in the questionnaire like I've always done, YouTube will just monetize your videos all the time because they just trust you. My accuracy rating right now is 100% high because in all my videos I'm honest. If it has some sort of nudity or whatever type of content, I say it does and it gets demonetized. And YouTube recognizes that and then trusts me in the future that I'm being honest, which I think is really cool. So it's not like this is that big of a deal to me. I just think that it's a bit strange is all. And I just wanted to know what your guys' opinions are on this. But other than that, I really do like this update and I'm glad it's here to stay. With that being said, please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. <clears throat> I don't know what it says right here, but let me know what you guys' thoughts from the situation and subscribe for more. See ya. Thank you.